All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about connecting an external webcam to your computer for streaming with Uscreen. Now, if you've been looking at webcams, uh, you've surely come across Logitech here, and they do some great webcams here. I myself have the C922 webcam, and this one's really good, doesn't require any drivers or, in, or software to actually work. Um, basically, you plug that USB into your computer and it works right off the bat. Now, let's talk about USB a little bit. Uh, depending on the webcam that you're after here, some have that classic square USB-A connection where other new ones like the Logitech Streamcam, which I think is new as of last year, has a USB-C connection. So if you're on an older MacBook or an older computer, there's a really good chance that it does not have USB-C uh, connectivity here. You might have seen them on uh, some of the newer phones, uh, but computers are still lagging behind a little bit. Uh, for the newest MacBooks, all of those should have a USB-C connection. So if you're on a brand new MacBook, just check. And if it does support it, you can easily get this without any additional adapters. If it doesn't support it, or let's say you're on a desktop computer, I'd say most desktops uh, do not have USB-C C connections. You can purchase an adapter on Amazon. And so you're just looking for USB-A to USB-C adapters. Now, but once that's done and you actually get a webcam connected, uh, let's talk about that part a little bit. So basically you're gonna plug it in via USB. You should see in the corner, let's say on your Windows computer that it's installing. Um, really nice uh, compared to the old days, you don't have to install any drivers or software to get it to work. Uh, but you should see that there. If you're on a MacBook, same thing, once it's plugged in, it should start installing. You can also kind of double check under Finder and Preferences and you can see um, any uh, hardware connected to your uh, laptop there. Uh, Windows has something similar called Device Manager. And once you open that, I think you can just press your Windows key and type in Device Manager and you'll see it. Uh, once it's open, you should see the section for Imaging Devices. And this is just to confirm that it is working. Obviously, if you're in like another streaming software like OBS or we'll, we'll talk about StreamYard too, and you don't see your webcam, double check uh, either on the Mac under Finder Preferences or in Device Manager and you can see if it's installed. Now, if it's not installed, typically what I do in my own kind of situations here, I will then just you know plug that webcam into different USB ports on my computer. If I was using, let's say a USB hub, I might actually plug the webcam in directly to the computer just to double check that there's not an issue with the hub. Um, and of course, if you're running into still issues, you might just have to check on replacing that webcam or maybe plug it into someone else's computer and see if it works there. Regardless, once you do get that up and running, um, you should see the webcam basically available in any of your softwares that you're gonna use, whether it's Zoom or OBS. And I'll kind of show you the process here in a couple. Um, so one being OBS here, I'm gonna add a video capture device. And again, since there was nothing to install, simply clicking that should pull up that webcam. Now, if you have multiple uh, webcams, and you might, you might have your built-in laptop one, you might have this external one that you've purchased, you might see two options in here. You might see that built-in webcam. I think on Max, usually it's called like um, FaceTime HD or something. Just make sure that you are switching to your uh, actual webcam here. Uh, we'll talk about softwares to manage webcams. I have one here called NVIDIA Broadcast. And you can see here when I switch to it, um, it's actually gonna be huge. Let's just resize that. I've got like a blurred background and you can do something similar, uh, especially through Logitech. So when you uh, pull up in Logitech here and you go to their, to their website, uh, you get your camera, they have a software here called Logitech Capture. And this basically becomes your webcam. Uh, as you saw there, when you are looking at that video source, you should see the default name of your webcam, plus uh, this might just say Logi Capture if you were using that software. Um, so what this software typically does is that you can change light levels, you can flip the image, you can put text on top, um, you can do some filters on it. Uh, so it's really cool. You can use it with many different softwares. So you could use it through OBS, you can use it through um, Zoom, something like that. Uh, but yeah, this, the process will be the same in a, in a tool like StreamYard. Let's actually show you this one here. I'm gonna go into the broadcast studio. And the first step is typically, I guess, picking your, your camera here. And you'll notice that it's actually using an OBS camera, which isn't quite right. So I'm gonna click on uh, cam here and it's using that virtual camera, which I don't want. I want it to use NVIDIA broadcast in this case. And there we go, it loads up correctly. You can also double check your mic. 
Um, one thing about mics is if you've purchased a standalone mic, you typically don't want to use your webcam mic because they're really typically uh, pretty echoey and stuff like that. So in this case, I have a custom mic here that I'm pulling up. Um, but you can see that the microphone is available for my webcam. I just don't want to use that one in this case. Okay, and that should be it for getting your kind of camera up and connected here. Of course, uh, you might see some additional options too, uh, especially like if I'm looking at OBS here, I'm gonna pull up my webcam again. Actually, I better, let's get out of this guy here. So we're not using that. And sometimes you can't use your webcam in two places. You'll notice why, that's why that one didn't quite load there. Uh, when I actually connect the webcam here, I have a few options. I can change the resolution. Um, I can, I'm, first I might have to set it to custom. So this is where I might want to make sure that I'm at 1920 by 1080. Sometimes, you know, it might connect at 720, in which case if your webcam supports 1080p, uh, you're kind of wasting um, the resolution by having it downgraded here. Uh, I know mine supports 1920 by 1080, and then my, uh, high, my uh, FPS here, it can be 30. I'll just set it as highest. And then you have a few other options here, color and all, all those types of things. Of course, if I was using my software, I can control what that software looks like, uh, what the, what the feed looks like in the software itself. So I'm going to actually open that here. And this is where I can set like a background blur and things like that. So depending on the software you're using, you have lots of different options. You can kind of mix and match them. Um, just make sure if you do set that software up, when you select your device, you pick the software from the dropdown. So that's it for connecting a webcam. Hopefully uh, you learned something and you have a great stream.